for all Pacers. The 2001 William R. Hot Memorial Final for a record purse of $618,000. A great field here lined up and picking up speed. Here they come. And the Ross Space Shuttle fires out Goliath Bioma from the inside, getting Whitburging his arm roll positive, and Howard Parker's got the pedal down around the first turn. It's arm roll positive to the front. Space Shuttle up to challenge early, showing early speed tonight. Gallo Blue Chip is on the move early. Goliath Bayama on the inside, fourth, heading to the opening quarter. Royal Flush Hanover, fifth, gap of five to Red Bow Tie, sixth. Intrepid Seals Dury is seventh. Big Tom is eighth, and it's Armbro Proposal. And Riverboat King last, quarter 25 and three. They are really moving down the backstretch now. It's Gallo Blue Chip, who works hard to clear the top from post 10, and it will be Gallo Blue Chip to the front now. Armbro Positive is second. Space Shuttle settles in third. Goliath Bayama is fourth, Royal Flush Hanover fifth, Red Boat ties sixth, nearing the half mile. Intrepid Seals to seventh, Riverboat King saves ground, moves up on the inside. Then it's Big Tom. And last now is Armbro proposal to have 53 and three. So it's Gallo Blue Chip. The ball is in his court. He's the one to knock off. Armbro positive used his speed to secure a pocket trip. First over now, Goliath Bayama takes his shot. Royal Flush Hanover Pierce with a perfect trip. Second over now, fourth on the outside. Space shuttle locked in as they approach three quarters. Red Bow Tie trying to get into it. He is third over on the outside. Riverboat King is locked in. He needs some racing room. Intrepid Sealster sets it up from fourth over. 121 and two and Dubay is going to work on Gallo Blue Chip. Gallo Blue Chip trying to open up by two. Armbro positive full up from the pocket. Goliath Bayama is there. Space Auto locked in. Needs some racing room. Royal Flesh out over on the outside. Here comes Riverboat King. Shake loose. Armbro positive looking for the upset, arm bro positive on the outside as Gallo Blue Chip goes off stride. Royal Flush Hanover was there with Riverboat King, but it was arm bro positive at 28 to 1, 149 and 1. Shocker! Hearing the pocket and pouncing late on Gallo Blue Chip in 149 and 1. Your attention, please. We had a disqualification of number seven, Gallo Blue Chip, from second. He was placed fourth. He was lapped on by two horses while off stride at the finish. So the 1A, Royal Flush Hanover, was third and moved up, elevated to second. 1C, Riverboat King, fourth, placed third. Gallo Blue Chip disqualified double lapped on break and placed fourth. For the Superfecta, the two intrepid Sealster, in the official order of finish was fifth. So Dave McNeil here, Armbro Positive. Howard, you woke up this morning. Did you say you have to get lucky to win this race, or were you good enough to win this race? Well, I th thought it was good enough, but uh, this caliber horse, you has to get lucky, too. 25 and 3 opening quarter in order to secure the pocket. Uh, is that your battle plan going in? Well, I really didn't have a big battle plan. I, you know, going for that kind of money, you never know what everybody's going to do. I uh, pretty much knew that I was going to leave just because he's, he's a superior uh, gate horse. And... Uh, I looked over and Gallo Blue Chip was the only other one coming with Space Shuttle and gave me a chance to seat Space Shuttle and get the trip. Last week had a little bit of an easier elimination. It's the third time you drove him tonight. How'd you wind up with the drive? I don't know. <laughs> You'll uh, take it. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm there. Biggest win in Howard Parker's career. Congratulations there. Dave McNeil, tell us a little bit how you got involved here with Perfect World Enterprises and your biggest win. Definitely my biggest win of my career so far. Uh, started with Perfect World in December and uh, been with them ever since. What kind of weight did Armour Positive have getting ready for these kind of big boys? Nothing uh, out of the usual. We treat them the same way as he did the last uh, month. And coming into the race here, you're looking at this field, I mean, you had to think, well, you know, if I get a piece of this, you'd be happy. Was that your think what you thinking this morning? Absolutely. Anything would be fine in this, in this field of horses. Deep stretch, you think, what were you thinking of? He was going to get by. Okay, Dave McNeil, Umbro Positive, has posted the upset here in the William Hart Horton Memorial, the richest age pace. of 60. 1A Royal Flush Hanover in the one entry, 280-260. 3-1 exacto. Post time for race nine in 60.